little marigold. These will grow up to about a foot tall. It's a tunia, a These are rose petunias. And these are purple petunias. All these petunias on this fence right here are going into our here. Look real close. You see the small little begonias just coming out of the ground. The total, the total greenhouse, we have about 12,000 flowers. My name is Zach White. I'm the Reinhardt University horticulturalist. Um, I've been working at Reinhardt for 10 years. I graduated from Reinhardt. I went to school here um, in 1994 through 1997. And I graduated uh, with my associate's degree here at Reinhardt. And then I went on after I graduated from Reinhardt and graduated with a uh, Bachelor of Science in Horticulture uh, at the University of Georgia. After I graduated from the University of Georgia, I went and worked at the Atlanta Botanical Gardens in Atlanta. And then uh, I came to Reinhardt in 2002. Uh, really excited and I've uh, been here ever since. This time of the year I'm working in the greenhouse lot, uh, potting up flowers, uh, getting seeds started, uh, moving plants around, uh, and getting everything ready for the springtime. A lot of these flowers are little seedlings. Uh, we planted them in January and uh, early February, uh, and they're just starting to sprout uh, out of our potting soil. This potting soil, this is a Fafford 3B potting soil mix, and what it does is it helps us uh, grow our roots uh, really good in our plants. Uh, it's got a combination of perlite, vermiculite, and a couple of different soil substances, uh, pine bark mulch. Uh, this is a special blended potting mix that we special order uh, because we want to have some of the best looking uh, flowers on campus, and the, this potting soil really helps us out. And you can see we're getting ready for spring, uh, getting our all, you see all that potting soil in those flats? We're getting them ready to be planted across campus. We also have a few house plants we keep in here over the winter time. But about 95 to 98% of the greenhouse is of, of flowers that we grow for our campus greenhouse. You can see the little seedlings uh, that, that are about to be transplanted into our uh, flats uh, across the greenhouses. Here you can see all the little begonias that we have just germinated. Very small, but these begonias get really huge and you'll see these in the entranceway of our campus on Highway 140 when you come back in the fall. And these are petunias that we've just transplanted from seedlings uh, into the flats. And you can see where they, earlier I showed you the seedlings, now you're seeing what they look like into the flats. This is the last phase they'll go into until that we start planting them across campus. Some of these different flowers will get really huge. Some of them will spread two to three feet wide. Uh, we have a lot of different flowers. We have marigolds, uh, petunias, begonias. Usually have to water these about two or three times a day because it's about 80, 90 degrees in the greenhouse, even in the winter time, and they dry out real quickly. And we also are trying to make sure the roots establish well, so we're having to water these in really good. I'm using a, a nozzle because the water gets so cold in the winter time we have to let that water go over the heat in the greenhouse and let, them, let it warm up a little bit so it doesn't hurt the plants. We have to water pretty heavily. Some people said that I almost live here because I work so much, but so I'm trying to cut back and working too much. But I love what I do. It, does, it doesn't seem like work to me. When I get up in the morning, I love what I do. I, I, I'm excited about coming to Reinhardt every day. So to me, I mean, I guess you can consider it as work. I get, I, get, I get a paycheck, it helps put roof over my head, but I love what I do here.